Fair Play a brand new thriller drama on Netflix aims to highlight power. Disparities based on gender roles and expectations particularly in the competitive business world. The story revolves around Emily and Luke, a couple who have kept their relationship a secret from the public. Because they also work together until things go wrong for them with sequences of sensual love. Making interspersed throughout that certainly add to the overall conviction. Fair play movie story and cast details. Scenarios The very protagonists are introduced at the beginning of fair play. Starting with Emily and then quickly her boyfriend Luke although they are. Visiting a grand party organized for the wedding of Luke's uncle. The couple is pretty busy with themselves as they are passionately in love excusing themselves from the events at the party Emily. Luke slips into one of the washrooms to intensely make love at this time though something falls out of the man's pockets making his girlfriend rather shocked and surprised. Picking up the object from the floor which is an expensive engagement. Train Luke proposes marriage to Emily and the couple is thrilled to get married very soon. Although Emily excitedly texts her mother about this. Latest development. Luke does not do the same with his parents in fact the next. Morning when the two get ready to leave for work it is revealed that their. Relationship is still a secret to most people. This is because Emily and Luke are colleagues at the same corporate. Along with the fact that the company policy disallows colleagues to get into romantic relationships. Emily and Luke are also professional competitors at the place because of both of these reasons the couple hides their relationship from any of their other colleagues and bosses. Very soon a new development takes place at the fiercely competitive investment firm as well during a meeting attended by both Emily and Luke. The current portfolio manager of the company goes through a terrible fit of anger and violence. He smashes through computers and other equipment in his room. The reason for such outrageous behavior is that the man has been fired without prior notice. Such is the work environment at the office that such firings are not very uncommon. The meeting continues as planned. Emily soon overhears two of the analysts talking about who would be made the next portfolio manager. The office gossip states that it is going to be Luke the woman tells her boyfriend about this secretly and they also celebrate the occasion in their own passionate way. Emily suddenly receives a call from a colleague at two in the night asking her to meet at the earliest. Why does Emily and Luke's relationship fall apart? Responding to the phone call Emily rushes to the meeting spot despite her boyfriend asking her not to this. The first instance in the film where Luke shows some orthodox shade to his character. As the man immediately considers this call at night as an attempt by the colleague to get close to Emily, but the woman is able to convince him this time and she leaves the apartment and arrives at the restaurant, only to find that the colleague is not there instead it is the boss of the investment firm Campbell who meets with Emily and his proposition rocks her. World Campbell states that Luke is not very appreciated as an employee and instead it is Emily who is being considered as the next portfolio manager. Emily obviously accepts the offer, but she is also not very convinced about how her boyfriend will take the news. Upon her return Luke questions her about what had happened and his first reaction after hearing the news is indeed quite revealing of his mental state. It is essentially this unexpected promotion for Emily which her boyfriend Luke was hoping to get that that drives the two away from each other ruining their relationship. Luke had been serving at the firm for quite some time and after hearing about the office gossip about his promotion, he started to believe that he had already been offered the role the confidence with which Luke talks about how the promotion is going to change his and Emily's lives together. Even before he has officially received the promotion reveals much about the man's character throughout the entirety of Fair Play Loop comes off as an extremely self-centered person. Who does not really consider anyone around him unfortunately Emily exhibits this trait of his as well as he never thinks that she might also obtain the promotion. Despite the fact that they appear to have worked at the same office for a comparable amount of time. Luke does not consider the prospect that his girlfriend may be qualified enough to obtain promotions. His expression shows amazement and nearly disbelief when Emily breaks the news but his words which are all congrats conceal these feelings. 
He explicitly states that he is not envious of or disappointed by the woman's success which again makes him sound incredibly phony. Emily takes notice of this as well as of the gradual change in her boyfriend's nature in the following days. She is caring enough to ask him about whatever is troubling him. But Luke does not open up getting a sense of what has been going on in Luke's mind Emily promises to help him out by getting the next big promotion. She then also tries her best to convince Campbell of Luke's hard work and intelligence with regard to predictions, but her suggestion is almost immediately shot down by the boss. Luke did not have a very good record in the last few quarters and his investments had made the company lose money because of which Campbell is unwilling to put faith in the man. Back at home the boyfriend starts acting more and more distant from Emily especially with regard to their passionate love-making sessions. He does not seem interested in such acts any anymore Emily tries her best to cheer him up and help his situation, but the man simply is not open to her anymore. In an effort to get ready for his finest work at the office Luke also begins reading books by his favorite business coach. At this time at first glance, it appears that the man is reading books and learning new things in order to boost his damaged ego and confidence and train them to be used again in a good way. But it soon becomes apparent that Luke is still trying to look down on Emily since he was purposely hurt by her success. One of these times is when he abruptly informs Emily that she needs to dress and present herself more authoritatively at work according to him. Emily's current appearance and attitude make her appear like a cupcake or a weak and adjusting person and so everyone would be out there to take advantage of her in every professional situation gradually. Luke keeps making statements and assumptions like these which really make him seem like the most dedicated student of an extremely sexist and somewhat misogynist teacher. In fact later on in the film when Emily mistakenly throws out the notes that Luke had been taking from his favorite author's business books. The man gets live and throws an absolute fit, deterred by the lack of romantic enthusiasm and her boyfriend anymore. Emily starts going out with her colleagues who are the seniors in the company she gets drunk and overspends of a club after earning a huge commission at work. And the next day Elsie overhears the colleagues talking about all this the man believes that his girlfriend might even be cheating on him. He suspects that is how she got the promotion in the first place Luke isn't. Exactly spectacular in his professional capacity either. Despite Emily's best efforts the man keeps blowing his chances just so that Luke's image of the office will improve. Emily persuades the rest of the employees to wager on a business that Luke thought would prosper Luke's presumptions however turn out to be wholly incorrect. The business once more suffers significant financial losses as a result of the incorrect choice again. Emily is able to get the money back through some other investments but it seems sense that she begins to lose faith in her boyfriend's abilities as a professional. As fair play progresses Luke gets more and more problematic calling his girlfriend names and then demanding that she talk to Campbell for his promotion. When Emily asks for an apology first Luke dismisses her as if he had done nothing wrong. Emily and Luke get back together in the end as Emily's earlier efforts had not worked one bit. Luke decided to try his luck with Campbell by himself when another portfolio manager is fired from the office. Luke goes to the boss and directly pleads with him to give him a chance and make him the new PM in an extremely ignorant manner. He feels that Campbell would pay heed to him if he graveled at his feet. Metaphorically and so Luke literally bows down in front of his boss for the role. This obviously does not work though as Campbell dismisses Luke leading to him completely losing his mental balance.